Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi and welcome. My name is Katie and I'm on a weight loss journey and I also have my own little witchy journey, which is kind of, I feel a bit bad that it's gone a bit to the sidelines at the moment. I haven't really focused on my witchy side as much, but I do like to do these videos. So I'm doing my weekly uh, tarot card reading video. So if you would like to see what is going to be pulled in this week's video, then make sure you keep on watching. I think I said last week, my, because I've been intending to put the videos up on Mondays instead of Sundays. So I might change the date to Monday to Monday now for the week reading. Um, I don't think it should affect you guys at all. It's just my own personal, just so I make sure I can get the videos up on time. Uh, just making sure we've got the right card. Um, yeah, so uh, as you know, I like to start off with my house and home cards. These are the oracle cards. And that's just a little guide, but they kind of look because they're not traditional. They have got the tarot side and the oracle side. So they have a guidebook because obviously they are different to traditional tarot cards. So yeah. So my readings are now going to begin from Monday to Monday. So this is Monday the 11th of July. Um, and hopefully we can get some guidance for you all. So what we, do we have a message? What do we need to hear? I'm just going to take those two, the two that fell. So, this first one says, be open to possibility, it's okay to let them in. So, I don't know if you or anyone is struggling with like letting people in at the moment. Um, maybe you're feeling a, you're a bit closed off at the moment. Um, and you're, what you're wanting to achieve, you're, I don't know, you're maybe having doubts about it. Um, but being open and letting different possibilities in is the best way to go because you may surprise yourself. You might find a different avenue to go down and <clears throat> it may help you better than you think so just whoop. <laughs> maybe just being a bit more open to things uh might help you um it could help me actually um but um yeah so maybe possibly being a bit more open with things is what that card is trying to say and the next one says an abundance of post has arrived so this can mean obviously physical abundance, I don't know if you're waiting for some money to clear or a check to clear or something like that um, but if you are that could be coming to your way soon or it could mean something like spiritually or mentally like you're feeling abundant about something so maybe you've done something recently and you're feeling like yeah I'm really really happy with that and you're feeling abundant and happy and um, it's just arrived in your heart. <laughs> that sounds cheesy, but um, yeah. So it could mean the actual physical abundance, or it could mean that you're finally feeling like abundant about things and happy. So both, both good cards. So uh, next, I'll go to my numerology cards. Is the box they come in. Um, these ones are, as I said before, very direct and oracle cards as well. Um, so let's see what message we have for you guys today. What message do you need to hear? Mm 
Okay. <clears throat> so this says, hold your vision. So I don't know if you're, well, everyone's on a journey in different ways, I suppose. Maybe you're losing sight of what you're wanting to achieve. Um, but this card is saying it's the uh, fixed moon. So, um, let me see the picture there. Um, hold your vision. So maybe you're feeling a bit like doubtful in what you're wanting to achieve. But if you keep that like tunnel vision, as it were, um, hold that vision on what you want to achieve and you will get there um, obviously it may take different possibilities like the first card but um, if you just hold just hold on to that little vision and you will get there because that is the ultimate goal so yeah very very good card <laughs> um, I didn't do the tarot card sorry I just realised I thought I'd gone through a bit quick there Sorry about that. Um, so I'll go to the tarot cards for House and Home. Go back to House and Home. I thought I went through that a bit quickly then. Maybe I'm not fully awake. Um, so let's see. What do we need to hear from the tarot cards? Come on. What do we need to hear? Nothing's coming out. I think it's because I left it alone. So one more shuffle. What do we need to hear? Where's that one because it's stuck out? So we have the abode which is very pink so the abode the abode don't get that though that is so spooky i think she just opened the guidebook on the abode <laughs> that was spooky see the abode is also known as the lover's card so the associations are love commitment positivity decision bliss union Mirroring the past and the future, letting go, reward, idolised situation, duty, emotions, options, welcoming the new. This house belongs to multiple couples. It's the ideal getaway. A deck wrapped around the house, a perfect place to marvel at the gorgeous sweeping lake. The doors are laid bare to welcome in all the colours of the setting sun. It can be so overtly radiant that one needs sunglasses. Just make sure to, to just make sure to take them off every once in a while, just so you can appreciate it for what it is. So, yes. So, love and commitment. Maybe you are. I don't know if it's anything anyone that's dealing with relationship stuff at the moment. Uh, maybe. There's things going on there. Maybe you need to commit more to each other. Maybe you're both working a lot, I don't know, or maybe like me, um, I don't work at the moment, so I don't see Adam as often as I would like um, and things like that. So we don't really get time to ourselves, um, things like that. Maybe you need to look into doing more, trying to organise things together, but I know it can be difficult. Um, positivity, so it's keeping the positive positivity up in everything that you do. Like the first God said, be open to possibility. And if you are positive about finding different possibilities, then it's really going to help you in quite a lot of different parts of your life. <laughs> um, so I don't know if there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, if there's a personal decision you need to make, which may affect like commitments and things like that, because it is saying obviously letting go of the past and the future. So I don't know if there's a decision that you need to make that is going to let go of a certain thing in your life at the moment, or it's something that's in your past that's affecting your future kind of thing, or it's something you think about all the time that's in your past kind of thing that 
you need to let go. Um, and it says, welcoming the new and options. So again, it goes back to the first card of, open, of being open to possibility. Lots of different options could be going your way if you just stay open. And like the uh, Minology card said, holding your vision. So if you hold the hold your vision in your head or wherever you feel like, <laughs> um, uh, holding on to that vision and being open to possibilities is obviously going to welcome in the new, like there may be a new opportunity coming your way kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's what I get from that card. I'll just quickly look in the tarot. The lovers. <clears throat> so the lovers quote says, I will take you to the place of choice where decisions must be made for good or ill. In the card of the lovers, we find a man and a woman standing next to, and in some versions, embracing each other, with the man looking at the woman. Um, the card alludes to love, relationship and family. But lovers has also come to represent temptation and the need to make a choice. At this stage of the journey, the fool finds his match and decides to marry and unite the opposites within. This card suggests that a union is possible and there is hope and light for a bright future ahead if temptation can be avoided. Yeah, so I think obviously love, <coughs> love and connections. Obviously, if you have a partner, um, making sure obviously that connection is still lit. lit. <laughs> um, yeah, so making sure that you still make time for one another, speak to one another, things like that. But there's also obviously the new possibilities again. And if there is temptation, please, if you can avoid temptation, obviously do it because it will affect, make things better in the long run um, and obviously choice goes back to being open to possibilities and <clears throat> um, just being obviously if you can stay open you'll have lots of options lots, lots of possibilities lots of choice and it will help you decide hopefully what you're wanting to achieve so that is that I'm sorry I forgot to do that after the um Oracle cards, that's not like me. More than we usually forget. So we've done, done that and done that. So obviously, as you know, I like to finish off with the guiding stars. Maybe we should do that now. That is the starting card. So it's mixed up in here all the time. There. No. No. Right, let's go. The last part of the reading. So what do we need to hear? <clears throat> May I raise my vibration and connect with the divine for guidance? So, um, with this, if you don't know much about um, cards, spirits and things like that, vibration is a very good thing to help with getting yourself out into the world, like it's just sound, um, so obviously talking and things like that, but thing, people like to use obviously like drum, drums and bells and sounds and things like that to raise their vibration in the um in the world <clears throat> so what that's saying is it's kind of like making yourself more known making yourself be more noticeable kind of thing and then that will help with the divine being able to give you some more guidance and make, make raising your vibration make yourself more noticeable is going to help bring um, and obviously that will help being more open will help the um, possibilities like the other cards are said come your way <laughs> so it's kind of like maybe you might have to step out of your comfort zone a little bit 
to make yourself a bit more known. I don't know if you need, maybe you need to contact people, speak to people on the phone or things like that to help bring yourself out there if you are wanting to change something. So yeah, I think it's kind of saying just maybe you're keeping yourself a bit like closed off and maybe just open the doors and just let a bit of everyone know that you're there. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from that. So yeah, that is this week's reading. Hopefully it wasn't too short. <clears throat> and I hope it helps. If it does, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, I'd really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And yeah, so that's it. I hope it resonates with you. And I'm going to go and upload this video. So take care, stay safe and blessed be. Bye.